This video presents a mouse model of obstructive nephropathy induced by unilateral ureteric obstruction that can either be irreversible or reversible. Histological data highlighting the resulting structural injury and its recovery following reversal is presented. This schematic cartoon illustrates the major steps of this model. Here we see the left kidney, ureter and bladder. A standard unilateral ureteric obstruction is induced by ligation of the ureter. The ureter becomes distended and the kidney becomes hydronephrotic over time. To perform a reversible unilateral ureteric obstruction, the ureter is ligated close to the bladder and a soft wall plastic tubing shown in grey is applied around the ureter at the point of obstruction in order to limit excessive ureteric dilation. The kidney becomes hydronephrotic over time and is then deobstructed at a time point appropriate for the study, seven days in this experiment. The soft wall tubing is removed and the ureter is severed just above the level of ligation. The unobstructed ureter is then anastomosed into the bladder to permit urine flow and the kidney will typically decompress over several days. The unilateral ureteric obstruction model, referred to as UUO, can be used to study the development of tissue injury and fibrosis following obstructive nephropathy. The reversible ureteric obstruction model, abbreviated to RUUO, can be used to gain an insight into the tissue remodelling that may follow injury. Here is a representation of a typical experiment incorporating both UUO and RUUO procedures. Mice undergo UUO on day zero and seven days later the mice are either sacrificed